So right away, let me give my boy a plug before I roll out recipe number one. Zach Mustafa. You have a big name, you know. But he really is just foodie tales with Zach. Now foodie tours with Zach. Zach took us down to Toko in one of the most, most a, a real scenic, lovely experience that satisfied your tummy. It was amazing that so many locals, so many Trinis were on board that bus on the maxi that experienced things right here in our own backyard for the first time that most of us never even thought existed in this country. Um, tasted some good food and I tasted some food that I just wanted to try to replicate. A fish, and I will, I will, Zach will give me the guy's name because I forget any guy's name now, but it was a smoked fish. I think it was curry to use. This fish smoked to perfection. Not too smoky, but a nice little roasty taste. I'm going to invest in a smoker, you know, because I've got to replicate that fish that I tasted. But I have a trusty oven here that I'm going to try to infuse some wonderful lemon infused coconut oil in some kingfish, um, season it up nicely, and try to do and replicate something that I tasted on that tour of Toko. Um, and I hope Zach likes it. So, real simple, um, I got some beautiful pieces of kingfish. So, you now some people, if, if you like your kingfish sliced and steak, like, I kind of just love a filly. You know, I do like trouble when I'm eating. So, I, I do like bones sticking me every time I eat a piece of fish. <laughs> so, I, I requested an, a, a filly and my, 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 my fishman handle me. So I'm going to just kind of, let me just get these lovely, so you see it? Check it out. Isn't this wonderful? Kingfish, you know, right in our waters. <laughs> yeah? And I really just want to do a real basic season of simple salt. Some pepper. So what this is, catch this nice. This is really a little lemon pepper and all purpose kind of mix. I threw the lemon pepper in there because I'm dealing with fish. Um, and, I, and, and, and what the good thing about the CGA coconut oils, their flavors really enhance what you're doing. So if you're going on a lemon kind of note, the lemon infused is perfect. If you're going on a garlicky journey and you're using plenty garlic, you use the garlic infused. If you're feeling for a little heat in your life and you want chili and you're doing chili, chili oil. Everything CG have your cover, right? I am now going to, so let me just, let me get some uh, talking garlic. I just love garlic when I'm seasoning. So, I want a couple cloves of garlic. I don't chop garlic. I squeeze. What I like to do with my fish, especially nice, tender, lovely pieces of fish and meat like this, I like to sensually kind of massage, you know? I just kind of... The fish, the fish works with that, you know, your nice sensual kind of rub. You know, you juk it up, you know, you just want a nice sensual kind of rub. <laughs> get all the, get all the flavors in there nicely. Trini green seasoning, most important. So I just want to just kind of, another little sensual rub. Get them in there. Don't forget the sides, you know, yeah? the sides, fish have different sides. So, you know, Kind of get the sides going as well. Rub them down. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Fresh lime juice is so important. Just a little squeeze to cut that freshness. My final touch is a sprinkle of the CGA lemon infused coconut oil, that final sprinkle. I'm also going to sprinkle and kind of grease my dish with this lemon infused 
coconut oil so my fish will be resting on a lovely bed of CGA's coconut oil with all that lemony flavor. And let's see if I can get this across here. Before it goes in the oven, guys, I just really want a little tad of butter to just kind of slather just on top of my kingfish. Butter just makes it better and the butter is going to melt when it goes in the oven and kind of just intertwine with all that lovely lemony flavor and get into the creases and crevices of the kingfish and then we'll be ready to serve up in the oven 450 degrees at a pretty high temperature and it's going to roast for I would say between 20 to 25 minutes and that's based on the thickness of your kingfish fillets right I have some pretty thick boys and girls here um, and they're going to go in and roast for about 25 minutes or so So I don't want to wait any more longer. I have one that is bubbling away. Look at that bad boy. Oh my goodness. You see those crispy edges? That's kind of what you want to see. Perfectly cooked. I'm hoping it will be lovely, nice and flaky with all that lemony goodness inside. Yeah, time to play this up guys. finishing off this with another little inspiration that I got from Zach's Tokoto. I had some salt prune pineapple chow. No salt prune in here but I did just to go with the fish just a little pineapple and cucumber what I'm calling a chow slaw. So it's a little bit of chow and a little bit of salsa vibes going on here. All right, pineapple and cucumber chowsla. That pineapple and cucumber chowsla will go perfectly with my lemon roasted kingfish. Get the recipe on coppagecaribbean.com. So the moment of truth, um, Zach went all over Toko to find the best food for us to eat and I got inspired and I wanted to do something a little similar having him on the show today. Zach Mustafa. Uh, thank you for having me. I just like to see you <laughs> <laughs> Welcome brother. Thank you. Thank Welcome you back. Much. Thank you very much. Um, so yeah, first of all, congratulations on a fantastic job. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. I know you know what that smoked fish tastes like. Oh yes, over and over. I want you to forget what it tastes like. <laughs> and taste, and sample my is, lemon rest. Nice, nice, nice. <laughs> now we are waiting for this. All right. <laughs> Let me dive in. I don't get some of your, what was it called? Uh, uh, so, so I just came up, you know, I, I kind of crazy. I came up with chow slaw. Because chow slaw, it's, right. it's a bit of a chow and a salsa. Gotcha. Um, mm, make and sure I, and get some of that in yeah, there Yeah, and I think it works perfect with the, the lemon flavors in the kingfish. Mm -hmm. Definitely, that pineapple works with it. It works well, yeah. The little sweet and savory. And the fish has a nice little crispy edge. That's important. Give you a nice fish. Look good, man. Yeah, man, Joe. It, not, 